Cementing its place in Singapore as a multicultural and multi-genre music festival, the 2010 Mosaic Music Festival by the Esplanade took it to the next level by dedicating one night for our Southeast Asian counterparts. The venue was the Heineken Music Club and the event was Club MIA, which stood for Made in Asia. Let's meet the four talented musicians that rocked the stage. First up, alternative band Apartment Kunpa tell us the difference between playing in Singapore and playing back home in Thailand. Alright, Singapore! Back in Thailand, I think I think in, in, in Singapore, I think everything has a uh, thing, a good system. When when you had the the uh, music festival, everything seems to have a system. Like uh, you know, you 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 know where when exactly, and like there are rules that you cannot do. For example, you cannot uh, drink in this spot, you cannot smoke in this spot. While people in Thailand, we tend to have less rules. <laughs> Like, so it's like people were like running around crazy. Like, for example, like if if this is concert in Thailand, you have like 50 people backstage. Performing with the band will be DVJ S, who is a visual DJ. She tells us how she feels about having an event such as Club MIA. My uh, my home base is in Vienna, Europe, and normally I'm the only Asian artist who is making music, making visuals, and so this is actually my first time experience performing with all the other fellow Asian artists. So I'm really proud. I'm really really excited to be here. Another Asian group adding their music and culture to the mix with Taiwanese hip hoppers Ko Chu Ching. After catching the kings of convenience play at the Mosaic Music Festival, this is what they had to say about our Singaporean audience. In Taiwan, the live house, everybody is stand and woo woo. But here, is everybody sit down and uh, watching the show. Yeah, just little. Um, I feel a little stranger. Because you don't look at the classical music, you know. You look at the indie band's performer, yeah. But I was in the outdoor, outdoor player, outdoor, in the other people play in the outdoor. Everybody also sit down. I don't know why, why everybody sit down. Uh, I think in our place, in the club NIA, everybody, everybody will sit, stand out and uh, whoa, because no, no chair here. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least was Indonesian reggae singer Ras Muhammad who tells us that the crowd back in Jakarta ain't so different than the Singaporean audiences. The crowd in Singapore have to be a bit pushed, you know, come on, get up, it has to be like that. Back home, it depends also on the place. Yeah, it depends on, if it's outdoors, everyone's more lively, enthusiastic, you know, but if it's like indoors, you're more, mostly like 
sometimes just stand around, you know, but you have to give them a little push. You know? But uh, for me as a reggae performer, as a reggae artist, I like to give the masses a little push, you know, you know, because if they want to come to a show, I want them to really enjoy the show. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the race TV coverage of the 2010 Mosaic Music Festival. We'll see you guys next year. Now that my